Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeaim here with a Wi-Fi battle. I am uh, gonna be uploading Wi-Fi battles again. Today we have an old one that was actually pre-Pokebank that I thought was pretty solid. Uh, Mimikyu is actually one of my new favorite Pokemon from this generation, Mimikyu and Kumala. So I wanted to um, show it off in a Wi-Fi battle. And I, I got a battle versus my buddy Master. He leads off with Serena, I lead off with Skarmory. Now I am Suicide lead Skarmory, so I am running Jolly Max B with Taunt, Double Hazards, Brave Bird. However, he does outspeed me and go for U-turn, so either he has Choice Scarf or he's just running a lot of speed on his Serena. Goes out into his Marowak, which is fine. I'm gonna go for my Stealth Rock. Now, this was before we found out that Skarmory did not have Stealth Rock pre-bank, so that's my fault. Any case, gonna get up my spikes as he goes for the will o -Wisp with Marowak, which is a fair play. You didn't know what type of Skarmory I was based on that U-turn damage. You don't know what I would go out into the back, and I mean, I had Garchomp in the back anyway, which is a pretty solid switch in the Marowak, so we're gonna get up some more spikes as he goes right for the Flare Blitz. Now, because this was pre-bank, he's actually Spadef Marowak with leftovers, and Skarmory eats that up. Spadef Marowak back in the day uh, was like a Tapu Koko counter, as well as a Faramosa answer. Um, I say back in the day, even though it was only two months ago, but the metagame has definitely changed. So uh, he's going to switch out into his Mandibuzz as I'm just going to get up my final layer of hazards. Now, custom barriers and release, this thing is actually mental herb on my Skarmory. But we're going to get up that spike as he goes Mandibuzz. And I don't blame him for this play because how would he know I was offensive Skarmory when he went for Flare Blitz, a super effective Flare Blitz from Marowak? Maybe he just didn't calc it off the top of his head and he thought, okay, I'm physically defensive Skarmory. My Mandibuzz can outspeed, can defog away the hazard, but now. Nah, I'm going to hit him with the taunt as I'm able to block the defog. Now, I'm not entirely sure if he has foul play or not, and I want to save Skarmory because I could actually bring it in as a pivot on his big threats like Mega Alakazam or Tapu Lele. So I'm going to go out to my Magnezone uh, expecting to catch a foul play right here. It wouldn't do much because I don't have much attack investment. It's, I actually have zero attack investment, zero attack IVs. He does reveal the U-turn though and is able to go out into his Serena. Now, this is going to do one of two things, either high jump kick me or rapid spin. He has defog and rapid spin on his team, and I definitely don't want to take a high jump kick. The good thing is, I have a Pokemon in the back, Mimikyu, that blocks the spin and blocks the high jump kick. And if he actually goes for high jump kick, he's going to take a hell of a lot of damage. So we're going to go out to Mimikyu as he goes right past me, right through me, goes for a high jump kick, takes... 10 million damage, well, 50%, whatever you want to call it, and I can go right for the play rough and knock him out. Reason I went for play rough here is because I didn't want to go for Shadow Claw and have Mana Buzz come in. That was his ghost resist, and he would be able to defog. However, he's going to bring in Mana Buzz, which is actually a pretty smart play since at the percentage he is at, I cannot knock him out with play rough. But knowing that he knows that I can't knock him out with play rough, I am going to go for the Swords Dance, expecting his defog. So, unfortunately, all my hazards is gone, or are gone, excuse me, but Mimikyu is at plus two. He has Tapu Lele, he has Mar Alolan Marowak, he has Alakazam in the back, and Celestela. So, he doesn't have good switches to Mimikyu anyway, so I don't mind my hazards being gone right here. Going to throw off a plus two play rough as he goes up to Celestela. I could have read this and went for the Shadow Claw and probably been in a really good position had I gone for it, but... I don't think it was worth it, whereas Mandibuzz is a bigger threat to my team than Celesteela is. Mandibuzz can stop my uh, Mega Garchomp in the back. Can, Mega Garchomp, excuse me. It can stop my Garchomp in the back. It can stop my Mega Sharpedo in the back. Goes with Celesteela. I didn't want him going for uh, Heavy Slam or Leech Seed. I wanted to keep my... Um, Mimic used the skies around because of top of Lele and Mega Alakazam in the back. So I got Skarmory, kind of hoping he goes for Leech Seed since I do have also Magnezone in the back. And if I went out to that on a Heavy Slam, I wouldn't take anything from that and he'd be trapped but unfortunately he gets his bitch boost after going for the heavy slam but i could trap him with my magnezone now i'm not specs mag i am chopperberry magnezone because this team is pretty weak to cartana or was weak to cartana at the time so well, i mean i guess if i still use it now it'd still be weak to cartana just cartana isn't used as much as it was back then but we're gonna go right for a modest thunderbolt does a respectable amount it actually looks to be a 2 ko not quite sure after leftovers though and i mean his best play is definitely going for protect as well i actually love shed shell on uh celestilla though of course it means taking on top of Lele is harder. I just don't like being trapped by Magnet Zone, but goes for Protect. It's going to be a roll to knock him out, which is probably going to be in his favor, not only with the Leftovers boost, but also, obviously, the Spadef boost that he got from the Beast boost. But we're going to go for a Thunderbolt, and unfortunately for my opponent, I am going to get a critical hit. Now, um, that probably mattered. If it didn't, 
I mean, that's fine. I mean, if it did, I'm sorry. I do apologize. It's the game we play, though. What can I do? Uh, we're going to go Flash Cannon now versus Marowak because I don't want to switch in Garchomp on a potential uh, Shadow Bone or a Will-O-Wisp. And I don't need Magnezone as much for this game, especially because I have Top Lily in the back and uh, Mimic you to be able to deal with Mandibuzz. So, goes right for the Earthquake. He's able to knock me out. And I, I'm seeing, you know, I'm seeing the rest of his team and I'm looking at Mimic you and it's looking... It's looking set to sweep. I'm actually Lumberry on this Mimikyu. I'm hiding a little berry underneath my... What is this? Disguise? Yeah, it is a disguise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it actually is a disguise. So I'm going to go for SD as he goes for Willis. Maybe he thought I was never men uh, never ending Nightmare or Red Card. And obviously that would go... Uh, Willis would go through my disguise anyway. But I find a little Lumberry in the pockets of my disguise. Going to eat that up. We are now plus two. Going to hit him with a Shadow Claw. And I'm going to be able to knock out the Marowak. And now his only play right now, and I respect this play a lot because, I mean, Pokemon is a game of odds. As much as we love and hate that about Mons, this is what you got to do. His only play was to go out to Mandibuzz, dodge a player off, and you turn on out of there. And that is exactly what ends up happening. So that was actually a really good play. He's going to be able to pop my disguise. Mimikyu is now busted. But I'm still a plus two Mimikyu versus Mega Alakazam versus Mandibuzz and versus Tapu Lele. So it's still looking pretty good. He goes Alakazam first i think what he should have done was gone out to top of lele just to get up the second terrain make it a little bit weird on the field that way i couldn't shadow sneak alakazam and try to crit me with a shadow ball because that would have been able to knock out mimic you but um that's not how the end game ended up happening plus two shadow sneak easily able to knock out alakazam he has that small stomachs and that's where i hit him in his weak spot top of lele is going to come out going to make this field all uh, this field all weird but I am faster than it. It turns out he was more than likely Specs. I can knock him out with the Shadow Claw, and all I gotta do is land this play rough on Mana Buzz. And even if I don't, I do have my own top of lane in the back, which can pick it off with a Moonblast. So we are able to connect, and that is gonna be game. So like I said, his end game could have been a little bit different. He could have went top of lane first, got the second terrain, and then went for the Shadow Ball crit, or tried to force the play rough dodge. But I did enjoy the game. Hope you guys all did, and um, Hope you guys are excited for the return of Wi-Fi Battles. I'll try to be doing a bunch of different tiers and uploading that. I do love Wi-Fi Battles. And um, they might not all look like this. By the way, shout out to my boy. Um, I believe it was Oliver who did this, if I'm not mistaken. If I Wow, I might have just butchered his name completely. I'm sorry, it was a little while. It was back in December when he recorded this for me, so I'm so sorry if I forgot. But they might not all look like this, which is part of the reason why I haven't been uploading Wi-Fi Battles. Um... But we'll see. We'll definitely see. In any case, hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, do your thing, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.